for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. It's got through to him. Chance! Chance! It's in! And look who scored! It is the headline maker writing yet another new headline. His position was perfect, the invitation was there for him, and his response absolutely clinical. Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot-on-sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from where I'm sitting. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, there's resilience for you, Peter. As a side, they never lost focus despite the setback. And this is thoroughly merited for me. Now they can... Goes for goal! Goal! Norway! And again they hit the front. Well, from right in 
front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. It's a simple game, the striker's job is to find the space as often as possible, and he did exactly that. Norway take the lead. Nordweit. Forward it goes. Midway through the first period, and it's looking quite a game here. Well, it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Ericsson. And here's Lewandowski. And it's Sakai. Pierre. Oh, what a ball! Gets good distance on it. Ronaldinho. And here's Son Hyung Min. Beautifully done. He's making good use of his strength there. Shot at goal! No mistake! They are right back in business! The first touch was absolutely heavenly, and because of it, the finish was a mere formality. This is quite a battle. Well, I think this is a case of anything you can do, we can do too. I mean, they're matching each other like for like here. It's a loose ball. The question, that's a foul. And here's Lewandowski. Messi. Lewandowski. Oh, Red, he sorted that out. Now it's King. And now they can launch a counter. He's picked him out. Big chance! It's in! And looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Juventus go into the lead. Listen, when it comes to goals, Peter, in this team, he's always the number one contender, and he's done it again. Vieira tries to get it forward quickly. Son Jung Min has a pop! He did it! And they're at it again in double quick time! Juventus are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. That has changed the dynamic somewhat. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and they're starting to look... 
and it's half time here. Well, it's hard to say whether a two goal advantage under these circumstances is decisive or not, but so far, I haven't really seen enough to indicate that the opposition can come out in the second half and improve to that degree. It has been a remarkable contest, decorated by goals, and two between them at half time. Well, the action has already resumed here. Has a hit! Yes! And the lead is extended still further. Pretty simple finish in the end. What do you think, Jim? Lewandowski is the obvious danger man here, and yet he was afforded way too much freedom. I think he was gifted that goal. His reputation should have been warning enough for them. He's made it free, quite a day at the office for him. That defence must be sick of the sight of him. He's been persistent and ruthless all game. He just hasn't stopped working. Juventus grab a three-goal lead. It's just too easy. Moran gets into the right position to intercept. Ericsson. And it's messy. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Now it's Ericsson. He's had a shot! A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Omar Al Abdullawi plays it forward. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Good take, and he's had a look. Oh, whose goal is that? Big deflection. That's one for the dubious goals panel. Four in the game. He is the man. apart once again they are utterly ruthless hoist it forward he's made sure that that won't get through Song Hyung Min Messi and it's Sakai Ericsson oh he's in it's Lewandowski again they pile on the misery listen when you're on an invitation to improve your goal difference ways off how many more does he want Juventus totally rampant here. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt will be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Ball is over the line. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. He's on his way! 
He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Played towards the front men. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Now it's Lewandowski. Omar El Abdullawi looking to hit the front line. Crunching tackle. Well played, he saw that coming. the demolition if it hadn't occurred already. Well, I wasn't expecting them to go this big, Peter, but they have been superb. actually it's... yeah and the counter is on time added on four minutes and here's Lewandowski Juventus finish after an absolutely outstanding game. Fabulous drama as they dragged it back from behind, made it happen and won. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Juventus won thanks to a, a disciplined game plan. Homework provided the groundwork and it exploited an obvious central weakness. So we've reached the end of our coverage for today. Many thanks to Jim Beglin alongside me. And we'll both see you next time.